gives me a great pleasure to welcome you to Dubai and to the United Arab Emirates for this 12th edition of the Asian Business Leadership Forum. We are indeed very pleased to have all of you here this evening. I offer our thanks to my dear Melanie Menon and her team at the ABLF as well as sponsors and uh, special guests who have made the ABLF Forum a great success, like my friend Kamal Nath. Indeed, uh, the diverse attendance of this distinguished people here tonight clearly demonstrates the global outreach and influence of the ABLF. This is actually the fourth year since the Ministry of Economy has officially partnered with the ABLF and we are proud of the achievements of this forum. The rise of the UAE born ABLF as a responsible and integrity led leadership platform demonstrates the growing prevalence of Asia as a power center of global growth in the 21st century. I think you all agree with me on that. Looking at India, China, Indonesia, and of course UAE is part of this. I first of all uh, highly appreciate uh, the ABLF work and their recognition of uh, the business leaders. This is uh, not only a recognition to me, I think this is a recognition to the whole team of the Ministry of Energy and Industry and what uh, they are trying to do for the Emirates and also in helping other countries to spread the strategy of energy and industry so other countries could benefit from it. ABLF role is uh, very highly regarded in UAE. Their contribution year on year on highlighting the importance of the partnership between government entities, whether regulators and the business community. In the future, we cannot evolve and develop our economies without that close tie between the business leaders uh, and the government's uh, representatives. I'm really happy and honored to be with you tonight. Uh, I would like to thank uh, His Highness Sheikh Nuhayyan bin Barak uh, Al Nuhayyan for presenting me with the ABLF State Person Award. Also, I would like to thank uh, the ABLF uh, leadership and team for their recognition and for creating a platform for cooperation and partnership. Thank you very much. This is really touching for me personally uh, as a professional and then become the policy maker. This is really a very good uh, recognition, but it's really attributed to many people who work with me in this case, whether this is in the Ministry of Finance or before when I work in the World Bank. It's a real privilege and I think that, uh, you know, there are 120,000 people who work in the Aditya Birla group and I must dedicate this to each one of them because each one of them brings a whole lot of energy and commitment day in and day out and they all have something to contribute for us getting this award. Thank you. Thank you.